Hey everybody, this is Glattercat, and it's time to play. Today we're going to play a new game called Astronomics. I'm playing the demo version. Uh, you can see the version in the bottom right of the screen. This is like a kind of a space miner economic sim game. Let's jump in and see what it's all about. It says, welcome to the deep space gig economy. Thank you for downloading the Astronomics demo. This demo will take you through the first 30 to 60 minutes of gameplay, which includes a tutorial and ends with your first real expedition to a randomly generated asteroid. Hope you have a great time. Look forward to hearing your feedback. And then there's uh, links to the Discord server and things off to the left. I'm on that Discord and I'll put links in the description of this video to get you there as well. Let's go ahead and start a new game. Uh, save slot one. And we can delete the old save that I, that I played this for a little bit. Boom, new game. Against all odds, we made it. Earth, come home for the first time. Exclusive residence is now available from the low 600 millions. Through the miracle of interstellar industrialization, the ecological collapse of our once fading world is now nothing but a fading memory. And in saving the world, we saved ourselves. Today, we live in a place where each of us is as free to follow our own hearts as we are to find the hearts of others. A place where we can work without worry, where we can give without regret, where we can love without fear. Earth, come home for the first time. Exclusive residence is now available from the low 600 millions. I guess the inflation continue, <laughs> continues. It says uh, we can get a property on Earth starting from the low 600 millions. That's pretty cool. Okay, we've got some objectives in the top left of the screen. Sign employment contract, move around WASD. Okay, let's do that. We'll knock that one off real quick. Boom. And rotate the camera with the right mouse button, hold and drag. Okay, that's how we spin the camera around. I can't change the angle of view. That's kind of limited to just uh, rotating the camera. All right, explore the Earth exhibit. Let's walk around here. Hey, every home on Earth has a watery pool to enjoy for exercise and leisure. And Cubo is the ro robot that we're talking to here. This object is a novelty flotation device in the shape of a subordinate creature known as a ducky. Around here and see what else we can find. Dreaming of your new life on Earth? I don't blame you. On Earth, the trees are almost always green. They've also never been known to attack humans. All of this could be yours. See what else we've got down here. This looks like a big showroom to uh, purchase property on Earth. Inhabitants of Earth enjoy driving around in automobiles. A temperate climate enables the roofless experience. There's a little convertible there rotating around. Imagine breathing an endless supply of fresh air as you cruise down a winding canyon road. Okay, we just get a whole bunch more objectives. Imagine your first day on Earth. That's done. Okay, all the cool friends you will have. Those are ticking off automatically. All the neat things you can buy. We're going to get to some asteroid mining here in a minute. The perfect picnic on a warm and sunny day. You're surrounded by the best friends you've ever had in your life. A little farmhouse is in the distance. Ooh, the pizza and hot dogs look kind of good. Take a photo for the feed, unleashing a tidal wave of admiration from afar. Can you smell the freshly mown grass? I can. I can smell it. That little guy floating in the water. Alright, let's talk to this guy. Congratulations on your recent decision to join the Cube Corp family as an independent contractor. Your paperwork has been approved. 
and a fighter has been allocated or freighter has been allocated for your use deep in the asteroid belt. Okay, when you are ready, please board the shuttle and initiate the launch to begin your exciting career as a deep space mineral excavation administrator. I like it. Let's head in. Check it out. All right, looks like we're in like a little airlock here, heading on to a ship. Okay, hold to depart for deep space. Your command guy could get stuck or damaged. You can airlift it. I think that was with a freighter or something. Okay, it says get out of bed. Can't scroll the feed all day. Let's go ahead and hop out. Hop out of bed and let's talk to our buddy here. Welcome aboard. I'm a Cubo, your casually unworried business overseer. I've been assigned by the Cube Corp to augment the likelihood of your success. I'm sure everything will be fine. To begin, please examine the expedition terminal on the opposite side of the ship. Rotating the camera by holding the right mouse button may help you achieve this goal. Okay, expedition terminal. Let's go see if we can find where that is. Something here. What is this? Uh, that's not it, apparently. Okay, they're showing us. Expedition terminal. After launching the shuttle, your next task will be to fly to the nearby training asteroid. A large arrow on your HUD will provide you with navigational data. Alright. Looks like we have some stuff on board here in the top right. Looks like we can take five things. And we got a couple mining turrets, and this is a bot, I think, that gathers resource, resources for us up here in the top right. Um, yeah, let's go. Launch shuttle. Okay. So I'm just hitting the gas here. Let's see where we need to go. There's our little navigational aid. And we're working our way over to a Kind of training asteroid, it looks like. Okay, land shuttle with E. All right, the key to a successful mining operation is the command bot, which you are currently operating. If your command bot becomes incapacitated, the expedition will end. You can switch focus between the command bot or your shuttle at any time with the tab key. Try toggling over to the shuttle and then back to the command bot. Okay, so we just hit the tab key here. Boom. And boom. Great work. Use the command bot to take your first steps onto the surface. I'll be waiting nearby to give you an introduction to mining. All right, there's our little bot. I can't really zoom in. Let's hop out here. Asteroids contain valuable minerals, but they need to be broken free. Fortunately, our mining turret technology was designed expressly for this purpose. Press Q to select the mining turret for placement. Rotate it by pressing E to face the mineral cluster next to me. And rotating a mining turret towards a specific resource will mark it as a priority. Okay. Hit the Q key here, boink. Play mining turret. And rotate it with E. And they want us to face this guy here, this little cluster. All right, the turret works. Mineral trunks are loose. Small resource chips can be automatically collected by moving your command bot close to them. Large chunks, however, will need to be transported back to your shuttle. Use the command bot to tag them using E for storage, and a worker bot will be assigned to automatically pick them up. All right. You can also hold E to tag multiple chunks at once. Try tagging everything you can and getting all of it loaded into storage. All right, if I walk by these things, they're just going to kind of suck up into my inventory. These bigger chunks, we need to hold down the E key. Boink. And now these are all marked for being picked up. Shows here on the right, tagged items will display an icon indicating their pickup status. A little up arrow as the worker bot is on route. So that one's moving. And then items in queue will have a dot 
And then if there's no valid path for the worker bot to get to the item, then it'll have an X over it. Meanwhile, our mining bot's still doing some stuff over there. Looks like there's a little nugget I can probably pick up over here. All right, take a chunk with the E key is done. Talk to Kubo to continue. Let's see where Kubo is. He's back this way. Minerals will often be out of reach. To get to them, the command bot can jump with the space key. The longer you hold it, the higher you'll jump. A rogue chunk is sitting on top of this ledge. Try jumping up and tagging it for storage. All right. Yes, space bar as usual for jumping, which is nice. They stuck to convention. There's our chunk. And if we tag it with the E key, boom. Now it's got that little X on there. Uh, great. Unfortunately, your worker bot can't reach this chunk. This is indicated by the X symbol that appears on the resource when you tag it. Tiny little X up there. To move the chunk to a reachable position for the worker bot, you'll need to use a gravity tether. Equip it now by using the Q menu. So here's Q. There's gravity tether. Select that guy. And then up in the top left, it says get this chunk into shuttle storage. So if I point on this guy, I can kind of move it where I want to. Can I pull him down here. Now I've got this guy to the ground and that X changed to a dot, meaning our worker bot's going to come and get it. In fact, it's the next thing. There it goes. Into storage. Nice, nice, nice. Delivery complete. You did it. Tools consume power and the gravity tether is no exception. When your command bot is totally drained, it will enter low power mode, causing it to move slowly. Try recharging your batteries by boarding the shuttle. Okay, where are our batteries at 99%? So we're doing pretty good, but let's go into the shuttle and just see about recharging. Jump. And there's a little spot. Oh, it's big. Big spot to recharge right when you walk in. Up on out. A bunch of stuff here for us to pick up. Let's grab that. All right, find Kubo to continue. There he is. <clears throat> to assist in the extraction of resources, your command bot has been outfitted with a construction module, which converts molten iron into useful equipment. <clears throat> to collect molten iron, break surface rocks with your mining turrets, and then grab the glowing chips while they're still hot. All right, start by collecting 25 molten iron. You can reposition mining turrets with your gravity tether or undeploy them by interacting with the E key. Let's just redeploy this guy. I'm gonna hit E and pick him up and then drop this guy back down. So Q, mining turret, uh, rotate. And then we're supposed to pick up molten iron once this guy starts firing things off. At the top of the screen, there's the HUD. It shows how much molten iron we have in inventory. Looks like the tutorial wiped out the iron that we already picked up. We just gotta hop over here and pick up these chunks. These mining turrets will do damage to my little robot here. I'm gonna try not to get hit. And they want us to collect 25. Get out of the way. All right, three more. Yeah, that mission is accomplished. Meet Kubo at the top of a cliff. Oh, maybe I'll grab a few more here. Let's go back to that cliff. There he is. I saw him up there. Mining distant or hard to reach resources with your command bots is possible, but limited and inefficient. A better solution is to create infrastructure that lets your worker bots navigate to them instead. Using your Q menu, you can now construct a crane out of the molten iron you collected. You build a crane close to the edge of the surface. You'll then be prompted to pick two points you want it to move objects between. Place one point on the ground below and the other up here. Okay, so Q. Whoops, E in the dialogue. Q, construction, construction crane. That's our only option. Boom, drop this guy down here. And it says the, the 
Crane can connect any two transit points that you pick. You can connect low and high ground, but you can also bridge a chasm. Transit points can be reconfigured by interacting with the crane. Okay, very cool. We gotta pick two places, so click there where they want it. And then I guess we can just hop down here. I'm guessing we don't take damage. Okay, your worker bots are now able to reach this area. If you need to change the pickup and drop positions, you can interact with the crane to do so. Okay. Mining operations are a prime target for outlaws. The longer you remain on an asteroid, the more you may have to deal with pirates encroaching on your claim. Okay, so there's enemies in the game. To defend your property, your command bot has been outfitted with a blaster. Equip it now on the Q menu. Man, here comes the enemy, I bet. All right, new thing to select here, blaster. Boink. Time to simulate a pirate attack. I'm so sorry. The landing site has been marked and you can lock onto enemies with the shift key. Protect your brand new crane. All right, whoops, wrong key. All right, let's head up. Our crane's up there, so I'm guessing the enemy's gonna come up there. Oh, there they are, they're already attacking me. Jump. All right, shift to lock on, and then multiple clicks here to fire. Oh, they took out my crane. Here's their little spawner, it looks like. Okay, that looks like the last of them. Pirates become more can't do anything. More of a danger the deeper into the asteroid belt you venture, so be prepared. Okay, you should be in good shape now. When you're ready, come find me and we'll wrap up our business on this asteroid. All right, let's take this little honor out. And you... Oh, no, no. Let's, um... Let's see if I can build another one of those cranes. Oh, I need more, um... Need more iron. Let's build another crane. See if we can get some more resources. That little guy is still blasting. So my little robot's inventory filled up. And so it drops a box here for um, a worker bot to come get. It's got an X on it though. It seems like they should be able to get to that. Let's grab this guy and pull this over somewhere. And okay, now it's got a dot. I grab more of this molten iron. Yeah, there's our worker bot. Is that a chunk? Yeah. What I want to do, I want to grab a couple more chunks before we get out of here. I want to see the crane thing in action, getting these two chunks that we got from destroying the enemy. So Q, build, crane. We'll do this kind of the same thing they had us do before. One up there and one down here. Then we'll mark these with the E key. And let's see if our bot comes up with the crane and fetches these. There he goes. Up goes our worker bot. We go fetch a resource and then come back. I suppose I should have my blaster equipped just in case we get more pirates coming. Uh, what's the matter, worker bot? There he goes. Let the worker bot pick up this other chunk and then we'll probably call it. Or we'll go talk to Cubo and see what's next. While that's going on, I can probably fetch our mining drill. Our mining turret. In a minute, Cubo. I'll be there in a second. Pick this guy up. Uh, maybe I have to get rid of that. Just gotta get close to the mining bot, then I can pick him up. We'll grab all this resource. Don't know if that's gonna be useful to us or not. Alright, worker bot's coming to get this little bundle, and then we'll head out of here. In fact, we can go talk to Cubo right now. Any bots or machines you leave on the surface will be lost if left behind, so make sure you pack everything up. 
the HUD will help you keep track of what's been loaded back onto the shuttle. Also, if your command bot is incapacitated or stuck, the shuttle can perform an emergency pickup by flying over it. When you're ready to leave, board the shuttle and activate the takeoff sequence, then head back to the freighter we came from. Alright, I think we're good. Because we've got three mining turrets over two, I'm not sure what that means. And we've got one worker bot. Let's hop out of here. And expedition. And now we're in our shuttle. We need to head back. Back to base. Steer over to this little landing platform. Okay, dock shuttle. Very cool. I like this animation. All right, here's what we did. A mazonite, raw, 341 kilograms, a little bit of carbon, and a little bit of iron. Okay, when docking with the freighter, all resources aboard the shuttle will be automatically transferred. And you'll usually have to navigate your freighter back to a station to unload your minerals. But we're here, or we're already here. Okay. Go to the freighter terminal, open the station terminal, and sell off everything you just extracted. Okay, freighter terminal, and then station terminal. Okay. So we'll just follow the guidance. Okay, here's our station terminal. Sell resources. All right, and then it's showing here what we get in terms of credits per kilo. Undesirable has like zero diamonds. Common is one, uncommon is two, rare, etc., etc. And then based on what we're selling, we're gonna get bonus points here, it looks like. Cube credits. All right, so let's just sell all of this. We're only gonna get cube credits for the first item, this Amazonite, or Amazonite, or whatever, however you pronounce it. I'm just going to click Complete Sell. Sale. We'll sell all this stuff. And we're going to get... Here's... This is hilarious, this screen. Earning Summary. So the resources we just mined are worth $1,018,600 on Earth. But our share, what we get for doing the work, is 0.05% of the revenue. We're only going to get $509 for all this resource we just mined. And then we're also going to get these things called cube credits that we can use for um, upgrading our ship and buying different things. Let's do confirm sale. And then I think this Earth dollars go towards buying that $600 million property on Earth. Hey, your first sale. Congratulations. As you can see, you received a cut of the profits in Earth dollars relative to your rank in the company. That money has been safely deposited in your mandatory savings account. Where it says, according, relative to your rank in the company, we can increase this revenue share um, as we play on um, and get more, get a larger percentage of what we're hauling. All right, you also receive several Cube Corp credits. These can be used to purchase new equipment and upgrades to assist in your asteroid mining ventures. Now that you understand the basics, why not take the freighter out for your first real expedition? Go to the navigation controls at the helm of your freighter. From there, pick an asteroid within jump range and hope for the best. All right, close that screen. Back out of this. Uh, let's look at shop equipment for the heck of it. Worker bots. We can buy worker bots for 250 credits, I'm guessing. Yeah, we only have 170. Mining turrets, item disabled in the demo mode. Tools, item disabled. So yeah, we're just playing a demo, so it's not all here yet. But we can kind of see what's available, or what's going to be available. Mining laser, level 1. Gravity tether, level 1. Blaster, level 1. That implies there's going to be level 2s and 3s, potentially. Modifications, armor plating level. Battery pack, jet booster, and construction module. Interesting. Alright, let's go to... Oh, upgrade freighter. Fuel capacity. 
Storage capacity, manufacturing. Oh, manufacturing and production capabilities of the freighter. We currently have zero manufacturing base. That sounds pretty cool. So we'll bring resources back and instead of just selling them, it sounds like we're going to be able to manufacture things maybe down the road. I'm just guessing at what I'm seeing here. Warp engine. Awesome. Navigation systems that determine a safe path for conducting a hyper jump. Oh man, I like the sounds of all this. Ability to detect known resources on the surface of asteroids passing through your claim. Awesome. All right, back, get out of this screen and I'm gonna use the X here. Get rid of that. And now we'll go to navigation. The where is navigation? Not in there, apparently. Oh yeah, they're giving us a little cue here. Navigation terminal. The your mining claim, 660 KKM, whatever that is, wide. Kilo kilometers, maybe? Um and infinitely deep has been approved. Any asteroids passing through here are yours to explore. Hey, also pay attention to how fast the asteroids are moving. Your sensors will tell you how much longer an asteroid will be within your claim. All right. Once an asteroid leaves your claim, your time is up. You won't be able to load any more resources from it onto your shuttle. Just pack up and move on to the next. Okay, use WASD to pick an asteroid cluster and then hold E to initiate the hyper jump. All right. So here's WASD, W, S, A, and D. So it's just kind of moving this cursor towards available asteroids. I don't think I can, I'm gonna right click and scroll, nothing. Scroll wheel, nothing. Left click, nothing. So this is all we can see. We've got this carbonite asteroid. It says it's available for another hour and 35 minutes in our claim area. And then this one's available for 56 minutes and it says silicate asteroid. Um, required scanner upgrade. Oh yeah. But it's not showing us the resources where it says detected resources here over on the left. Um, let's do this one since we're probably expected to do the other one. Let's just see what happens. If we go to this guy. Okay. That's our freighter. Taking our ship, I guess, from the station over to that asteroid. Transit time remaining 26 seconds. We're on our way. Maybe I should have gone to the closer one. Looks like we have 170 credits up at the top right of the screen. 12 more seconds to get where we're going. Oh, I guess I can still walk around. Station terminal. There's Cubo. There's the bed I woke up on this morning. All right, we're there. There's our shuttle kind of in the bay here. What's it say? Okay, asteroid mining. Asteroid will exit the mining claim in 55 minutes. Mine the asteroid, then return to Cube Corp. Expedition. There's my little mining guy. Yeah, let's go. Launch shuttle. And we got to find our way over to this asteroid. There are little obstacles we have to avoid. Boom. That'll buff out. All right, not bad. Not too many obstacles. Actually, that was fairly easy. Okay, there's our landing bot. All right, we don't want to end the expedition. We're just getting started. All right, let's get to it. Let's get to it. There's some interesting looking rocks over here that have little nubs on them. Let's drop a mining drone here. Rotate this guy to face where kind of where we want him to. That guy should kick off. Oh, check it out. Bunch of resources. Oh, uh, we got... S oh, yeah, we need that molten metal, right? To make the uh, lifts. I, c 
can get damaged by the mining laser, so I'm trying not to be right directly in the path there. We do have another mining turret in inventory. Oh, there's some stuff moving around over here. Are you friendly? Not friendly? No idea. Uh, they don't seem to be attacking us. That's interesting. Alright. I saw some stuff up on this plateau. Let's see if we can get a mining laser up here. I can get up there myself. Good enough. And then do I have enough to build one of these cranes? I do. Boom. So how about there to here maybe? Nope, that's out of range. That's out of range. There's water right there. That's our issue. I'm gonna have to move the crane. Alright, I'm just gonna... Yeah, I gotta find a spot. Don't. It won't let me put the second spot down there. It's too far away. I think we're gonna have to move this crane. Can I interact with them? Let's try it. Uh, set transfer points. There. There. Yeah, I don't... Oh, I thought I had a... Hint of success there. I guess not. Yeah, I think that crane is not gonna be useful to us. Just in a bad spot. Let's try... See if we can make another crane. We've got a bunch of resources here to pick up. Maybe there? Here to there. And then I gotta mark all these four being picked up. I'll just hit the E key. Okay, that marked a bunch of stuff. That one says it's out of reach. But there's a bunch here that are gonna get picked up. There's our little helper bot. I'm gonna get resources. Alright. Are we getting enemies yet? No. Let's pick up this turret and see if we can find another interesting looking rock. Looks like there's some stuff back here. I'm gonna drop this guy. Just start working this pile. About our bot down here. What are you doing? You don't have anything to mine, really. Pick that one up. Walk around, pick up all this loose iron. I can find something interesting to mine that looks interesting. Gotta keep an eye out for pirates as well. see any special rocks here. I see a bunch of regular rocks. What I might do is drop our second miner here as well. Let's focus in on this area, actually. And one of the reasons I'm doing that is because when the pirates come, they could potentially take out our mining turrets. And in the demo, we cannot purchase new mining turrets. So I can defend these turrets a little better if they're right next to each other. Ooh, I just took a little bit of damage there. My battery's looking great. I'm at 100%. Oh, look at these little critters. I wonder what these guys do. We have to worry about them at all.
Oh, it looks like that resource is still... Oh, no, it's not reachable. Let's see if I can grab it. Alright, managed to bring this box of resources up to this level. Our little helper bot can come get it. We only have one. Seems like we probably want to buy more of those if we can. Bunch of mining here. See if there's anything up on this level. Oh man, there is. Uh, yep, we need to get a turret up here. It looks like there's some valuable stuff up here potentially. In fact, let's take both turrets and move them up to that level. Let's get another crane here. Battery's looking great, 99%. Health is at 96%. Our little worker drone's doing its thing. And our mining drones are doing their thing. I'm just waiting for pirates. I'm sure they're on their way. Just drop some resources out of reach. Let's switch tools. Grab our little grapple gun here. In fact, I can make this easier on our bot by bringing this all the way down. And we might be able to grab this nugget here that our bot can't seem to get to. This one near the ship and market. E, I gotta get close. There it goes. Let's head up and collect some resources. We got a bunch of stuff here on the ground. Oh man, look at all the enemies down there. I didn't even notice. Blaster gun. Got him. Did we lose anything? Do I have my mining turrets? Oh, we can mark this, all these boxes, or all these <laughs> resources for collection. 
Okay, our worker bot's still doing its thing. Do we still have both of our mining turrets? I hope, because those enemies will take them out and we can't build new ones in the demo. Yeah, it looks like I still have two mining drills going. So we survived that first pirate attack. Guy and bring it down to the ship, speed things up a bit. move these guys looks like they need to get a little closer got a bunch of valuable resource right here keep our eyes open for pirates going to help our worker bot by dragging some of this stuff down off the hill. So he doesn't have to wait for cranes to get up there. Got a bunch of useful resource here it looks like. Buddies are back. I'm guessing that's a spawner, that last one. All right. Let's uh, mark this. And there's a point where we're going to run out of inventory space. It says cargo space 449. So let's see what happens when our our little bot brings over another chunk. We definitely need more of those carry bots. There he goes. If I can just fling these over the side here. Can't really rotate. Yeah, that failed. Okay, cargo space. Oh, it's 100 per chunk, so we're almost out of cargo space. We just went from 449 to 349. Looks like we got all the valuables. I'm going to pull up these mining drones so they don't get attacked. And then see if we can't get some of this down. Oh, missed up on that one. Cargo space is down to 56. Let's go in and see if there's something we can get rid of. I think there's a way to do that. Let's see if I can figure it out. In expedition, don't want to do that. Guess we'll let our carry bot... Okay, your cargo is overfilled. You'll have to jettison items before takeoff. Okay, that's fine. I don't want to pick up this valuable stuff before we go. And then we'll jettison, like, the iron. Remember, we didn't get 
credits for that. Okay, he's got that piece. Bring these fancy looking oars down to the, next to our ship. Alright, the music is getting different. I have a feeling we have pirates nearby. Yeah, there they are. Alright, that threat is dispatched with... little nuggets um, our little bot doesn't seem to be doing much oh keep moving keep moving we need you there he goes I just needed to unstick him it looks like He's doing his thing. I think once we get these loaded onto the ship, we'll be ready to go. Calcite. These are all calcite. Cargo space minus 238. Our bot looks like he's stuck again. Will you pick up any more or were you just full? I wonder if I can unmark it. This iron I don't think we need. Cancel pickup. Okay, yeah, I just had to tap the EQ to cancel the pickup. Let our carry bot grab these last three nuggets. The calcite. And then we're going to have to jettison some stuff. We're 500 units over inventory. It's probably going to be 700, right? Let's see. Yeah, now we're at 611 over inventory. All right, I think we're ready to get out of here. Um, Can I pick you up? Oh, enemies here. Let's uh, take care of these pirates real quick. Oh, man, they're going after my bot, too. They took him out. That's not good. We're just getting ready to leave, too. Oh, that's a bummer. But I think we can... Oh, man, yeah, that's a bummer. All right, let's see if we can end the expedition and see what happens here. Boom. Oh man, your storage is still overloaded. You're loaded. You will have to jettison some items, okay? And then down here, calcite Ross. Yeah, that's worth money, and this is not. So let's grab the iron and jettison a bunch of this. Boink, 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 boink. Okay, now we're good to go. I'll close this guy and let's get out of here again. Bummer, we lost our carry bot. That's going to cost us some cash. Just on our way out of there. But we got a lot of resource. 1,994 units. Wah! Units of calcite. And 500 units of iron. We managed to save our two mining turrets. That's probably the most important thing. Since in the demo, I don't think we can build new ones. Or at least in the current version of the demo that I'm playing. Could get added to the demo. 
All right, here we are back at our freighter. I can navigate to kind of the landing dock here. All right, here's our haul. 1994 kilograms calcite and 499 of, of uh, raw iron. Let's keep our fingers crossed and hopefully we can buy another um, carry bot. Otherwise we're done. <laughs> I think, although I don't know if I could bring, if I could carry this stuff myself over, all the way over to the ship. All right, station terminal. I think this is where we sold last time. Let's do it. Ooh, 697 credits this time. Uh, Iron, I guess we'll just sell it all. Complete the sale. Oh, this time, look at the cash. 1,159. And 697 credits. Let's do it. Close. Back. Can. Okay. Shop equipment. Upgrade freighter. Yeah, we saw all of this is not in a demo. Um, I think we might need to go back to the station. Is Kibo got anything for us? No. All right. Ask. Mine the asteroid, then return to the cube station corp. Okay, here's navigation. Let's get back. Again, WASD. I'm going to go all the way back, and I'm hoping we can buy a bot, a carry bot, over at the station. Okay, E to jump the target. Might take a second. Let's walk around here. There's our ship in the dock. Expedition, nothing we can do yet. So 16 seconds and we're back at the station. And again, we want to try and spend some portion of our 866 credits to get another carry bot or two. All right, welcome back before you sell your latest haul. Oops, too late. You should know about contracts and your corporate level. Every station you find will have contracts posted, each of which will offer you special rewards for meeting their objectives. Okay. Check out the contracts terminal and see if you fulfilled any requests. You can also pin contracts, ensuring they stay visible in your objectives list. All right, let's go check that out. Um, not there. That's navigation. Expedition terminal. Here it is, contracts terminal. Let's take a look. <clears throat> Earn 250 cube credits. Oh, we'll check it out. We earn 250 and we get a bonus 100. We'll take it. Boink, we're up to 966. Crew of three worker bots. That's what I was calling carry bots. Yeah, we have zero now. Uh, we do have money to get more, I believe. And we'll get a 250 credit bonus if we buy three. Five cranes, we completed that contract. Check it out. 500 credits for that. Awesome. Upgrade freighter fuel. Don't think we can do that in the demo. We'll see. Uh, reach 350 kilometers or kilokilometers, whatever that is. Venture to the depth of 350 kkms into your mining claim. This will require more than one hyper jump. 350 credits for doing that. So these are contracts oh we moved up a level corporate level two and now our revenue share instead of being 0.05 is 0 0.20 i like it not sure what this step down here is down here in the bottom left um let's get out of that what's next completing contracts will increase your reputation with the corporation who issued it every time your rank with the corporation increases the commission you received when selling to them will improve Ooh, so we can sell to different corporations. We're just selling to Cube Corp right now, it looks like. Only one thing left to explain. Head over to the freighter terminal and select end shift option. I don't want to. I don't want to go. Uh, which one? Freighter terminal. Where's the freighter terminal? That's... Expedition terminal. Navigation. I don't think it's this guy. No.
This is contracts. Oh, there it is. They're showing us. Blinking. Strobing, and I missed it. Okay, station terminal. Sell resources. Shop. Oh, shop equipment. Worker bots. We want them. Let's get three, because we're going to get... Uh, it's like buy two, get one free if we go to the contract screen. So let's purchase these. One. Two. Three. Mining turrets we can't do in the demo yet. Tools, nothing available on the demo. Modifications, nothing available on this demo. Uh, before I do the end your shift, I want to, because I don't know if that's going to end the demo or not, I want to go back to the contracts terminal and collect our 250 for having three of those bots. I'll take it. Worker bots. Nice. Research Medusa Mineral. Venture a thousand KKMs deep and locate the Medusa Mineral Station. Research that station to unlock more contracts. Oh, man. I like it. <clears throat> I like it. Okay, back to the station terminal. Let's do what they want us to do. They said to end the shift. Boom. Okay, when you end your shift, your freighter will be refueled. Your bots will be repaired or replaced. Or replaced. Hmm. wonder what that's all about. And you'll get to enjoy a bit of rest and relaxation. Okay, and that's everything. Once you end shift, you're welcome to keep exploring or check back soon when we'll have more features ready to show. Thanks for trying the demo. Awesome. I like it. Exploration quota. This shift, you traveled 273 KKM and launched expeditions to one different asteroid. Target is 200 and 200 KKMs. Target achieved. Bonus 25 credits. Okay, end your shift, head straight to bed for eight hours while you sleep. Okay, we already read that. Your freighter will be refueled in your next for your next voyage, and you will awake it to a mining claim full of fresh new asteroids. Okay, end your shift. Wake up. Okay, get out of bed. Uh, there's some dialogue options here. What do I do? Your basic training is complete. You can now operate freely. Start exploring asteroids passing through your claim. Complete contracts, earn promotions, purchase equipment, and upgrades. What else you got for us? I'd like a hug. I only have one arm, but I'll try my best. And no animation for that, doesn't look like. Tell me about Earth. Good morning, valued contractor. Have you seen that new slideshow on the feed of the top 10 helicopter rides on Earth? So just some banter here. I need some coffee. Of course. Please enjoy this freshly brewed mug. An energetic state is mutually beneficial to your interests and the interests of the Cube Corporation. All right, let's see what else. Contracts terminal. Oh, we're up to level three now by completing these contracts. Now our revenue share is 0 0.30. That's six times what it was when we started. Um, research 350 KKMs. Let's see if we can do that. Let's see if we can do that. We'll go to one more asteroid. We won't completely mine it out, I don't think. Storage terminal, that's new. Cargo capacity zero. Yeah, we sold everything. Okay, navigation terminal. Uh, they wanted, what was it? Three, jump range is 300. Okay, WASD, let's go far out. 245. They said you might need like two jumps. So let's jump here and then see if we can um, jump to another one. Just curious how that works. It'll take 25 seconds to get to our first location. Uh, while we're doing it, let's take a look at that contract and see what it said. I think it was 350, right? They reached 350 KKMs. Because this will require more than one hyper jump. And we'll get 350 bonus credits for doing it. Uh, imagine they said the enemies get tougher the further you go out. So that might be the issue. Okay, back to the navigation terminal. Let's go further out. Right now we're at a depth of 244, and we're going to go another 229 or 187. Let's do this guy. Oh no, it's only got two minutes, and then it's out of range. If you look over here on the 
left side of the screen. So that one's going to be out of range soon. This guy's got two hours left. Let's head over there. And just see what we find out. Okay. You only have enough fuel for a jump back to the station. Oh. Might be a good idea to upgrade your freighter's fuel capacity. Hmm. Looks like we're going to be stuck. Let's, uh, let's go back. Let's go back. Can we go back? Let's go back and just see if we can actually do that upgrade in the demo. Upgrade our fuel capacity. I'm just going to head back home. And then I imagine in the station menu or this terminal here, we might be able to do our upgrade. Fuel capacity. Uh, locked for the demo. Too bad. Yeah, this upgrade is not available. The amount of fuel we're able to carry is currently limited to 300 liters. Bummer. Okay, back to the navigation terminal. <laughs> let's go somewhere else. Uh, let's, um, six minutes left on that guy. Five minutes left on that guy. Two hours on this one. Hour and 28. This is carbonite. This is silicate. What did we do last time? I think we did silicate last time. Let's do, let's go here. Oh, this might be a little bit of a bug because I'm at the station. I'm already at the station. Uh, let's see, maybe there's something we're supposed to trigger here. Oh, we gotta end our shift. Yeah, to refuel. Yeah, I think that's what the deal was there. All right, one more try. Yeah, that's got three hours left. <clears throat> Carbonite. Let's see if there's anything unique here. Carbonites. And silicate. Go to this guy. All right, let's hop into the shuttle. Head over to our asteroid, we'll do a little mining, and then we will call it on this first look video. Pretty cool game, man. I really like it. I like the looks of this. It looks promising, super easy to understand. Uh, it looks like there's a lot of different upgrades, contracts, and things we can do. This guy looks kind of small, but let's uh, hop down here. Hop on out. Oops, wrong way. See some interesting stuff over here. Let's pop down our mining drills. We have two. Uh, we've got three worker bots this time, so now things should move a bit faster. Oh yeah, I need to pick up Molten Iron. It looks like each trip I'm going to have to pick up the Molten Iron fresh. And I think we need 25 per crane. So we'll kind of hang out here and see if we can scoop this stuff up while it's hot. Trying to avoid getting a shot here by the mining laser. A little bit of a hit there. Okay, I've got plenty of molten iron. Let's see what else is around. Uh, that looks different, this stuff. Let's get some cranes built. And 
that gets us up one level. Need more resource. Okay, let's pick these guys up. Boom and boom. And put them over by something interesting. This stuff here looks kind of interesting to me. What is this stuff? Does it say? Nickel. Yeah, I think that's actually pretty valuable. Just hopping in here to grab re <laughs> to grab some resources. All right, let's go up. And let's put another crane onto this level. And then maybe we'll bring mining lasers up here. Looks like there's some more nickel or something up here. And then, oh, is there somebody coming? something. Oh, those chunks are ready to carry. Alright, our carry bots should come out here. Our worker bots, rather. There they go. Nice. Ooh, I just took a hit. All right, I think these guys got all the interesting stuff off of this level. I'm going to pick up our miners and go up a level. Two. Maybe something back in there. I guess we could set one down here, maybe. Let's see if it can even get a shot. Oh. Try one there, and then we'll pop one up top here. Ooh, I hear the fast music. Tells me there must be pirates somewhere. Where are they? There they are. Let me take out my bots. I think they did just take one out. Darn it. My aim was not so great on that one. Oh, they took out two. <laughs> two of our mining bots. Oh man, that's brutal. All right, I got one left. Let's move this guy. Looks like he might be stuck. Oh, man, that was a bit painful. Looks like there's something here that actually needs to be mined. Can I do it myself a little bit? Looks like I'm able to break things up with my grapple gun. At least some of the ore. I imagine it's not as effective as using the mining laser, but I don't know that for sure. There's nothing else interesting here. I'm trying to get up this hill so I can deploy another mining laser or mining turret. There we go. See what we get from these things. What is this? Carbon chips. Carbon raw. Bunch of stuff down there too. I've got only one bot. That's not so great. Looks like he's getting stuck too, right? Some. Can I? Yeah, I got my grapple. Let's grab you. Move you over. He's... Oh, he was picking up that thing. 
kind of curious if I can put these into the loading bay myself. Yeah, it looks like I can. Dude, not you. <laughs> Bring this over. Okay. So even without a bot, we can kind of bring resources onto the ship ourselves using our little grapple gun thing here. Okay, our worker bot's on his way up. I think there's a couple pieces of molten metal here I can grab. Do anything with you? Not really. I guess we can mark all this for collection. And move our bots here. Bunch of resource buried way far back. Let's uh let's put one of our guys up here. And then head down and put one of them down here. See if we can work our way back to that or it looks like there's a ramp here so our little carry bot should have no problems and i can bring some stuff over here myself We lost two worker bots. It's like 500 credits. We did get one of them kind of for free. But I'm going to have to pick up the slack myself. How's our inventory? We've got 934 cargo space. I think that 824 cargo space left. Let's move this guy closer to what looks to be the more valuable ore. Cargo space 580. What are these? Gypsum chips? there was a little timer or something with the uh, pirate attacks so you knew when they were coming. We need about five more big chunks loaded. Oh, there's a red arrow. I wonder if that's telling us that's our problem. Yep, there they are. We made short work of them that time. That should be the last one. I'm guessing last attack until we get out of here. up this mining laser. I too, there we go. Alright, 
Cargo space is down to 243. Make it 132. Okay, we're about ready to get out of here. I'm going to pick up the mining laser. Then we're going to call it. Head back to base. Hopefully we can save our worker bot. I don't have a way of picking them up, I don't think. But yeah, our cargo bay is just about full. Pick you up. And you need to come with us, buddy. I don't know if I can just force the issue. That is he attached to that somehow? Must be. Yeah, look, I've dragged him. <laughs> He's invisible. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. It says worker bond zero out of one. How do I get him back? And charge up. Okay, your cargo is overfilled. You have to jettison some items. I will do it. Is there a place to do that? I don't see a menu to do that. Is there a spot I'm supposed to be doing that? Our worker bot just became invisible too. I'm a little nervous about that. Zero out of one. Let's see if we can find it. See if we see something moving around. I don't want to get out of here, but I don't want to leave without my worker bot. There we go. Finally made that jump. Yeah, I don't see the worker bot. Let's unmark this. Or no, we may have lost it. I kind of tried to grapple him and then jumped off this hill and he kind of went invisible. All right, let's just hop out of here. Before the next raid of pirates comes. I'll leave without our worker bot. And expedition. All right, let's jettison the stuff that's not worth anything. It looks like, oh, carbon's not worth anything either, huh? Oh, market rate 450. But we don't get extra coins or whatever. Okay, your storage is still overloaded. Okay. Let's get rid of the carbon. Looks like that's the cheapest stuff we have. And we just need to jettison about 70. That looks good. Back out of this. In the expedition. Up we go. Worker bot. Just looking, is there anywhere where we see the worker bot? I said before we could rescue him by hover, hovering over him, but I don't see it. All right, let's head back to the station. We'll have to buy another one. We'll probably end the demo there. Let's head back and we'll travel all the way back to... We won't sell it once we get to our freighter. We'll... Get, try and get back all the way to the station before we sell our haul and then see if we got any new contracts that we met in the process there's our freighter get on the other side all right 700 gypsum 536 iron 682 nickel and 574 carbon. And I imagine there's going to be upgrades where we can increase the cargo size. Okay, station terminal. We want to navigate back. Back to Cube Corp. I suppose we can check the contracts room and see if we met anything. I don't think we did. Yeah, we can't do this one in the demo. It doesn't look like. Reach 350 KKMs because our fuel, I think, is limited to 300. Upgrade freighter fuel. We tried that. We can't. And obviously, we can't go 1,000 KKMs if we can't hit 350. So contracts are done for the demo. 
Uh, let's see if there's anything left here at the station terminal. Worker bots. Oh man, zero. We lost all our worker bots. So sad. Let's uh, sell our resources and see what we actually get. Oh, 276. That seems like that's a lot lower than last time. Let's do it. Oh, but we're getting a bigger share of the revenue. 0.3% instead of 0.05. Well, that helps. Not a lot of cube credits. We lost 750 credits worth of worker bots, and we only gained 276 credits from this trip. Bummer. Close. All right, I think we'll end this first look here. Man, again, this is Astronomics. The demo available on Steam as I record this. I'm not sure how long the demo will be available. I'll put a link to the Discord in the description so you can check that out. I like the looks of this game. I think this is very, very promising. Like I said, super intuitive. You kind of just even from the demo, you get a sense of what's coming, right? You can upgrade your ship. You can do contracts. Looks like there's asteroids that are very far that you can do multiple jumps to reach. There's unique minerals to go mine. Um, maybe multiple different corporations that you can trade with enemies. Maybe there's more enemy types coming. I'm not sure. Yeah, pretty cool game. Let me know what you think of this game in the comments. I think it's pretty cool. I'm going to try and post this video as soon as possible after I record it. So you guys can get a chance to play it while the demo is still up. Again, I don't know how long the demo is going to last. Hop on the Discord, ask the dev, and see what he says. Yeah, that's it for this one. This is Gladricat saying thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this first look on Astronomics. I want to thank Gladricat patrons and channel members for their support of the Gladricat channel. If you'd like to join that very small but very appreciated group of people who are helping support the content on this channel, there's links to do that in the description as well. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.